guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm back this week with another video for you guys. But today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how I turn my hair from this to this. Now I'm just going to be showing you guys some products I use to kind of unfreeze my hair. And I'm just going to be showing you guys how I straighten my hair and how I go from really curly, huge hair to super sleek, straight hair. So if you're interested in watching that, keep on watching. But if you're not a part of the Paolian family yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave because I will have a giveaway when I get to 1,000 subscribers. And yeah, let's get into this video on how I go from curly hair to straight hair. All right, so the first thing I do is I like to wash my hair. I already washed my hair a couple of hours ago and I let it completely dry. My hair has absolutely no product on it. Like, this is my hair when I don't do anything to it after I wash it. It is super huge, it is super curly. The first thing I like to do is part my hair right in the middle. By the way, if you guys are interested, by the way, if you guys are interested, by the way, if you guys are interested, I can't say interested. If you guys are interested to see my video on how I actually style my hair curly and just leave it curly, I do have a video on that already. I will tap it at the top of the screen. And I also share with you guys on that video what I use to shampoo my hair and condition my hair and to untangle my hair. So I'm not really gonna go into my shampooing routine in this video because I already have a video on that. I like to first split it in half and put it pretty much in two sides. And I do have two clips. They're like these ones, like the butterfly clips. And I'm just gonna clip one side of my hair first. I like to do two, cause it's just way easier. If someone else is doing my hair, I let them do like four. It's just a little faster. And now for this side, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate one tiny part from the bottom. Just like that, like not that much. And I am gonna be tying this up as well. Now, I do have to say, I strain my hair like completely with a flat iron. I don't really like to use a blow dryer. And of course, I've used a blow dryer before. But I just feel like when I do a blow dryer, it takes so long. Because it has to go from soaking wet to like super pin straight. So if I'm using a blow dryer, it'll literally take me two hours to do a blow dryer. And then like an hour to do the flat iron. So what I've been doing is just letting my hair completely dry. And I just go straight in with a flat iron iron and this is the Sam Vila flat iron. I will leave everything down below and I already turned it on. It is completely hot. I did put it on high because I do have a very curly hair. I know like most people think that if you just straighten your hair from curly to straight with a flat iron without blow drying it, you're pretty much just cutting your hair and you're splitting it really badly in the ends. But this is what works for me and it has worked like wonders like for years because whenever I straighten my hair, I do like to do it with my flat iron only. And as you can tell, I still have a lot of hair. It is not split. It is completely healthy. So it hasn't really done anything bad to my hair. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with a brush. And I'm going to brush it through to make sure that it is completely untangled. And now I'm going to put some of the Not Your Mother's All Eyes on Me 10-in-1 Hair Perfector infused with keratin. And this says that it's supposed to instantly transform unmanageable hair. Now my hair is not unmanageable, but I got this on my Influencer box box. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to Influencer for sending this to me to try. Now this video is not sponsored, but I did get this on my Influencer box box. And I'm just going to spray some of it on my hands. And since this has a little bit of keratin, it will help my hair stay straight for longer. And I'm just going to put it on this piece of hair down here, which is the one that I'm going to straighten now. And now I'm just going to put the brush there. I'm going to grab my flat iron. And I'm just going to first straighten the root of the hair. Because I feel like if you don't get the root of your hair, your hair will last as long. Like always, always go over your roots. That is what I always do. And now I'm gonna slowly move down the hair. By the way, my hair is very long, so I'm gonna have to move like away from the screen. Like as you can tell, there's no smoke coming out of my hair. It is not cutting up. It is not it's pretty much perfectly fine, even though I didn't really blow dry it with a blow dryer.
Now I'm just gonna go over it one more time. I always go over it twice. Now as you can tell that it's super straight. It is not frizzy at all. Now what I'm gonna say, if you have really curly hair, you don't wanna take out sections that are too big. Like as you can tell, there's like barely any hair in this section. But if you do it in smaller sections, you'll be able to get through your hair much faster because you can get into the root of the hair really easily without having to go over the same piece 20 times. You just go over it twice. While it looks like you'll take longer, you'll actually take a lesser amount of time. So now I'm just gonna grab another piece. And I always like to do the back of my hair first because I cannot see the back of my head. It always takes a little longer. And I'm just gonna separate the piece like around this bit. Now I'm gonna grab the other piece, the huge one, and I'm gonna tie it back, and I'm pretty much just gonna do the same thing I did. I'm gonna clip it back up, I'm gonna grab some of the spray, I'm gonna put it on my hand, just three spritz, I'm gonna massage it on the hair, now I'm gonna untangle the hair, and now I'm gonna put the brush here, and I'm kind of gonna brush the hair as I iron it, but always doing the roots first. Let me move my hair. And always make sure that when you're straightening it, you're not like putting the hair down. Because if you put your hair down, you're not going to get as close to the roots as you want to. Put it straight out. And I know your arm will get tired and it'll feel like you just worked out. But you know, it's worth it. Now that the root is done, we're going to move down the hair. Of course, you want to do this very slow. Because if you do it too fast, it will not get straightened on the first go. You're gonna have to do it like three or four times. So be patient, grab smaller sections, do it slowly, don't skip any steps and it will look super sleek. Like you'll see the end result. Now I'm gonna grab all the hair that I have straightened and I'm just gonna go over it with a flat iron. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go through the rest of my hair doing the exact same thing I did with these two pieces, but I'm gonna just be moving up my hair and let's get to it because this is gonna take a while. Now, this is what it's looking like right now. I did want to tell you guys some more benefits of this Not Your Mother's All Eyes on One. All Eyes on Me, not on one, sorry. So I just wanted to read you guys the 10 benefits this has. So pretty much, this has 10 instant benefits. It adds body, it strengthens, it detangles, it moisturizes, it adds shine, it controls frizz, it repairs dry hair, it is a heat protectant and it mends split ends and it seals the cuticle. So that is what I really like about this product and why I've been using it thus far. This is pretty much protecting my hair from that extreme heat from the flat iron. It is also mending any split ends and since this does have a little bit of keratin, it is also helping my hair look a little bit more straight. So I feel like a huge trick with doing your hair this way is to use a product like this that is a heat protectant and the good thing about this one is that it is a heat protectant but it also has many other qualities such as adding shine and straightening the hair and all that stuff. So yeah, thank you to Influencer and also to Not Your Mothers for this product. It is amazing. Now, let's continue. Alright guys, so pretty much the back of my hair is done. I'm gonna start doing the front. And for the front, I'm gonna be doing the same thing. But I did want to show you guys how I divide it. So I already did this back part of my hair. Now I have to do this. So what I like to do is just grab the same small sections, but these ones are a little longer because I literally start dividing them at the ear and then I just go up like a ladder until I get to my part in the top of my head. And I feel like this is the easiest part because you can actually see what you're doing. It's not like the back of your head. So I just do the same thing. I divide it, I grab three sprays of this, I run it through the hair. But as you can tell, it's just way easier because I can actually see what I'm doing. I don't have to like feel where my root is. I can actually see it. And I'm just going to do the same thing. And always remember to keep your section small. Always use a heat protectant. And always brush your hair before doing it. But just remember when you're getting in this hair right here, be careful with your ear. Because I burn my ears so many times straightening my hair. It's ridiculous. Like it's immune to heat by now. But always be careful because you don't want to strain your ear. Like that's not hair. We're 
we're getting to the final stretch. So for this piece, I'm gonna divide it in two, but I'm not gonna divide it vertically. I'm gonna do it horizontally. So like right in the middle, right here. And this is gonna be one piece back here, and then the front is gonna be another one. I'm gonna be doing the back one first. I'm just gonna spray it here. Now I'm just gonna kind of go over all of my roots to make sure that they're all completely straight because if you don't get all the roots completely straight, your hair will curl up in literally an hour. So I'm just gonna go over the front pieces. All right guys, so this is half of my hair completely straight and this is my curly hair, which I'm gonna let down so that you guys can actually see a comparison. So yeah, it went from this to this. So what I'm gonna do with this side of my hair is I'm gonna add some coconut oil. This is the Simple Truth Organic Virgin Coconut Oil and this is unrefined and cold pressed. I just really like using coconut oil for my ends because I know that they can get a little bit dry especially after applying so much heat to them. Um, that iron is literally 450 degrees. It's like extremely extremely hot and the reason why I use it so hot is because my hair is super curly. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of coconut oil to my straightened hair and that's just gonna add a lot of shine it's gonna make us super sleek and yeah guys that is pretty much how you get your hair from curly to completely pin straight super shiny super sleek and it literally looks like my hair is naturally straight but it does have a little bit of volume because I do have a lot of hair what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do this side of my hair so that both sides of my head look the same and then I'll be back with you guys all right guys so this is my hair completely completely done this is what it looks like as you can tell it is very straight it is like pin straight there's absolutely no frizz and I will definitely say that the reason why I don't have frizz is because I use this guy right here along with the coconut oil in the end I feel like if you do those two things you will not get frizzy hair I'm gonna see if, if I can like zoom back the camera so that you guys can actually see how long the hair actually looks like this all right guys, so I hope you guys can get a better view like this as you can tell this is what the hair looks like right now it is completely completely straight you guys saw how it began like it was super curly super huge super frizzy and right now this is what it looks like and this will be your end result after you pretty much do what I just showed you so I hope you guys like this video thank you so much for watching if you learned something don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel before you leave I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something because this took me so long and I just feel like this routine works for my hair I have really coarse curly frizzy hair and my hair is also very dry but if you do have a very oily hair I would recommend using maybe just one pump of this not three per piece and also using just a tiny bit of coconut oil just in your ends so that your head doesn't get too oily too fast but I do have very dry hair so that's why I use so much product but as you can tell this is the end result and I feel like it's actually super straight and it is pretty good considering the fact that my hair is actually naturally curly so I hope you liked it thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video bye guys Mwah.